Matthew, our wedding day is finally here. We've been dreaming of this day for so long and by five o'clock tonight, we'll be husband and wife. Dear Allison, before the end of this day, we are going to be married. I can't believe the girl I first saw all those years ago in freshman biology lab would be the person I was spending the rest of my life with. About a year back, Matt came and told us he wants to propose to Allison. He sat both of us down and handed us a letter. I would like to read a part of Matt's letter to you all. When I met Allison, everything changed for me. I learned to be open and truthful with her, to be vulnerable and express how I feel. As a result, she knows and understands me in ways I could never realize. She makes me the happiest person and cares for me deeply. You've shown me that sharing your secrets and flaws isn't so scary. When it's someone as amazing and understanding as you, holding my hand and listening on the other side of the conversation. We are going to explore every corner of this world together. Our memories and stories will provide all the wealth we could ever need. At Thanksgiving, Matt asked Mary and me for our permission to marry Allison. We were both touched and truly pleased. To propose, Matt orchestrated a ruse to take Allison with him on a trip to Chicago for his board exam. Just before they departed, Matt told Allie they weren't going to Chicago and to plan for a ski trip to Colorado. Then it arrived by text, a photo of Allie, her face full of joy, and Mary and I could not have been happier. Our trip to Colorado was so perfect. When you asked me to marry you, I couldn't get up off of one knee fast enough to kiss you and tell you yes. I have spent every day of that trip imagining a lifetime with you. When my family and I went to the Barbados, I was struck with clarity. I realized that no world existed in which I could be without you. You give me happiness, security, love, and never-ending reasons to laugh. I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you, and I am so excited this day has finally come. I'm so excited to join your family today and become an Azulatum. I can't wait to stand in front of your friends and family and promise to love you for the rest of my life. I'm so excited for a life of sharing food, seeing the world, and conquering our dreams. I can't wait to watch you grow into all the roles you're meant to be. I have not made nicknames for Allison yet, but friend is a nickname that has become natural for you. You fit in our family from the first day. We loved you from the first day. I cannot wait to see you walk down that aisle with your gorgeous eyes and infectious smile beaming towards me. The anticipation will be killing me at this point, so let's make this thing official so I can continue loving you with all my soul. Love you so much, my soon-to-be wife, Matthew. He's good. <laughs> I stand here today without any hesitation or doubt. My commitment to our life together is absolute. I take you as you are, loving who you've been, who you are now, and who you are yet to become. Matt, from day one, you've taught me the importance of true honesty. You've shown me that two people joined together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You have always made me feel completely loved and understood despite my flaws. I believe this honest and accepting nature is the foundation of our relationship and what will keep it strong for the rest of our lives. I vow to never tire of holding your hand, drying your tears, and basking in the sound of your laughter. I vow to love you endlessly each day and for the rest of my days. I may be the first person to ever do this while giving a best man speech. Matthew Eric Azerwatham, would you drive my wife and I to the airport this Friday? <laughs> Wait, is there anything you'd like to say? I'm smiling in the silence, wondering if you are even feeling the same. Remember my name Make me it all
Lamar's best friend, Joe. You couldn't be a better one. And I know he'll be the same as Matt's wife. Now, even though we're getting to the end of your wedding day, my matron of honor duties don't end today. Actually, I think this is just the beginning. Because my duties will continue throughout your marriage. I'll be here to support your marriage in all the years to come. Make me it all. both taught me so much about love, friendship, and I'm so happy this day has come. Um, Matt, you speak your mind, and that's my favorite thing about you. You make everyone feel comfortable with your genuine honesty. You're always such a caring person, and I can't stress how much I love you guys together. I can see how much you love each other, and just thinking of you guys together makes me incredibly happy. I think I can speak for everyone here when I say that. Allison, I vow to be your loving husband, to listen attentively and let your voice be heard. I vow to respect your beliefs and to respect you in our differences. I vow that on our most mundane, mundane days, I will love you passionately and never grow complacent. I vow to travel with you to explore and to try new things and to always make time for one another in our inevitably busy, busy schedule. I vow to learn when it is time to be a student and when to be a teacher. I vow to acknowledge your accomplishments and ensure that you feel appreciated. I vow to be by your side when you need me and to ask for it when I need it. I vow to be a continual learner and explorer of your soul. Jump in the way and I'm with you. There's no sense of time. And I know that it's late, but I don't want to see. You're my very best friend and the love of my life. No matter where this crazy life takes us, I know that my home is wherever you are. Matthew, I vow to love you unconditionally. I promise you this. I promise you myself today and every day for the rest of my life.